Hi, welcome to Home Farm. Today we're going to be sharing with you the um, organic slash natural slash clean beauty uh, skincare that we use in our bathroom every day. So we wanted to just share with you the products that we use on a daily basis um, because they are, um, as I just said, natural and clean and um, they're um, low impact on the environment. But we just caveat that and say straight away, these are not zero waste products. Um, we are still trying out some zero waste products. Um, and once we've kind of tried them and tested them ourselves and come to our own conclusions, then we'll share um, those recommendations or opinions with you. But at this point, we're just kind of gonna stick with the ones that we're using and that we genuinely feel comfortable sharing. Um, these are the ones that are currently in our bathroom and use almost every single day. Uh -huh. um, and there's quite a lot of them. <laughs> and I would just also say that we tend, to, we've kind of tended to get into, and it hasn't really been a conscious thing, it's kind of been more of a convenient and a financial thing, is that we've just started to kind of use more unisex products. Yeah, so true. we kind of don't really have a his and hers. Um, and I think that's a good point, actually. I think that that's really good from a sustainable um, sustainability yeah. perspective because it's really nice for us to just have one shower gel that we both use, um, or you know. Mm. And so I tend to buy fragrances that I know that we're both going to yeah, feel comfortable true. with. Um, no rose petals for me. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that there is a rose fragrance in here. <laughs> But I do have an alternative for him. Um, but most of the time it's unisex. And yeah. I think that that's um, one of my tips straight away is if you want to be a little bit more sustainable in your bathroom, um, just immediately start to switch to things that you, you can both use or as a family you can all use. I just think that that's, um, that's something that's really good. From my side of the equation, uh, I also like the natural stuff because of our home sewage treatment plant. Yeah. Uh, you know, so having stuff that is very high in chemicals is not going to be doing that any favors. Uh, by having stuff that's largely natural uh, and organic, obviously you're introducing less uh, things that can actually destroy the, 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 the beneficial bacteria in that tank. Yeah. So for me, that also gets a thumbs up. Yeah, we live rurally, so we do have our own septic tank. We're not on main sewage. So, you know, we really have to be conscious as well as to what toxic um, chemicals we're putting into that uh, tank. Um, so, yeah, that is, is part yeah. of, you yeah. know. So it's, it's really kind of just the way that we live. <laughs> so before we get into all these products, uh, I just want to say that we have not been paid um, yeah. by any of these brands. They don't know we're doing this video. Um, we have purchased everything in um, this basket apart from one item, which was yeah. gifted to us, but it was gifted to us a long time ago. And we are actually now customers of theirs. So we actually now purchase from them mm -hmm. directly. So I'll get the ball rolling. Um, I switched to Kingfisher toothpaste uh, about five or six years ago now. Uh, I just happened to come across it in a small country shop. Uh, and, I, and I gave it a try because I've never actually liked the, um, the toothpaste like Colgate that you kind of brush your teeth and you just get left with a very strong minty flavor in your mouth for hours and hours and hours on end. Uh, I just find that, I, I just don't think it's particularly great for the mouth even though it feels super clean afterwards. Yeah. So what I really like about Kingfisher is that it's completely natural. It's, uh, it's got something like eight ingredients and they're all listed on the back and exactly what they do and why they've been put into this tube. And what's really fantastic about the fennel one in particular, I love the taste of uh, licorice, so that, that fennel taste appeals to me. Yep. Uh, but you brush your teeth, it feels clean once you've rinsed your mouth out. But after about 10 minutes, you know, your mouth just feels natural and normal. It's not tingling, it's not cold, it's not on fire like you do from minty toothpaste. Yeah. So from that perspective, I just really, really love this toothpaste. Yeah, they do other flavors as well. I think I've they tried do. the... The minty one, I think it was that I tried. They do mint. But yeah, you're right. Once you've rinsed your mouth out, the, the flavoring kind of disappears quite quickly. It is still in a plastic tube, which is a bummer. Is a bummer. And it's just worth noting that they actually do a fluoride and non-fluoride option of all their flavors. They've only got like three flavors. Hmm. But you know, I know that a lot of people don't necessarily want the fluoride in their toothpaste, so they do a variation of that. Uh, Cruelty-free, it doesn't contain any animal products, GMO-free, gluten-free, yeah. and made in the British Isles. So that's your Kingfisher. So that's your toothpaste. Terrific product. So once you brush your teeth you might need to cleanse. I do and I have started to use La Vera. Uh, La Vera are a German brand. Uh, they 
I started to use their shampoos about a year ago and I absolutely love their shampoos. I'll talk about those because they're in here. But I recently purchased this um, cream cleanser uh, because they do do natural products. And I really, really liked it. It's very, very gentle. I like um, cleansers that are really gentle and it has got a little bit of fragrance, but... A little bit, yeah. It has got a little bit of fragrance. It's pleasant and it's not chemical. And... No, it's kind of like, um, almost like a baby lotion kind mm -hmm. of, um, you know, yeah. fragrance. Um, it's also vegan, um, also cruelty free um, and natural. And the ingredients list is nice. And uh, it's like soya bean oil, um, seed oil, shea butter, mallow. Um, it's got some lemons. It's got some nice things in it. Um, ingredients are certified in uh, organic. Um, and the ingredients from essential oils. And I have found it to be really gentle. It's been really clean on my skin. Uh, I actually, the way I like to use it is I slather it all over my skin and then I take a warm, um, kind of like a muslin cloth and I wipe it off with a warm muslin cloth. Don't feel like it does come off really well with cotton wool. I feel like you need the wet kind of flannel on it. But I, I've really enjoyed it. So I'm using this, it's only a little small, um, tube but it's going a long way and I only literally need a kind of pea size and a little that goes a long way and I've really enjoyed that so that's my current cleanser which I'm I am enjoying and I, I think that I'll be buying a second bottle that's of this. Cool. Then we've got this natural deodorant from a brand called Fussy. Uh, you have to buy this a plastic container for the deodorant but it is completely reusable and it's made from recyclable plastic but after that point everything else with this deodorant is zero waste. So when you actually get the refills going forward, they actually come in what looks like a plastic container, but it's not. It's actually waste sugarcane pulp. Uh, so you basically take that, you can put it onto the compost uh, heap or just leave it in the garden and it'll biodegrade over time. Now I've been using natural deodorant for years and some of them are really hit or miss. They either work or they don't, but yeah. this one really works fantastically well. Uh, and after doing some research into them, the, the active ingredients in here is called lactobacillus, which is basically the stuff that you find in yogurt. So, you know, not only is that uh, good for, or that bacteria is good for your gut, but as it turns out, it really likes to eat BO. We actually tried this in the height of the heat wave that we have in the UK. I put it on in the morning. We went outside, we did some hardcore gardening tasks. And even though I was sweating, there was just no BO at all. Uh, so, you know, from that perspective, I was just incredibly impressed with how well this product works. Yeah, I have to say, I've also, I mean, I'm not a sweaty person at all. Um, and even when I, you know, yeah. you've been using um, natural uh, deodorants yeah. for years, it's taken me a lot longer to transition because uh, I, I, you get things and then I try them and I'm like, this just doesn't work at yeah. all. Um, and I'm not a smelly, sweaty person. And even the ones yeah. that, <laughs> that don't work make me smell, which is really bizarre. Yeah. Um, but we've both tried this and it has worked really well for both of us. We're both, we're using a unisex flavor, which is the peppermint. Wavy, wavy mint or something yeah, like so that. Yeah, I think it's peppermint and eucalyptus or something like that. Um, and it's really nice fragrance. It's yeah. very gentle, soft. Um, uh, it smells really nice in the container. I'll be honest, when you actually apply it, uh, I don't really smell it, no. but it prevents you from smelling. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, from that perspective, it really does accomplish what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I've been really impressed with it. And and I think that the once you've purchased it and bought into it, the yeah. refills are actually quite affordable, especially given Very like, affordable. for me, I go through a, a, a deodorant stick, yeah. like um, a normal, like a different brand. I go through one of those per year. So for me to, yeah. to spend a little bit extra, and get an, a natural or natural one stick and pay that once a year. It's yeah. a no-brainer for me. So we both really like this. Uh, so it's worked really well. And, and just the sustainability of this is so much better because I use a, a roll-on uh, from Dr. Organics, which also works very well. It does. But the problem with that is that when when you finish it, the that whole plastic container has yeah. got to go in the in the in the refill. Uh, sorry, right. in the recycling or mm. you know goes to landfill. With this one. Uh, obviously, once you start refilling it, so even though you've got a piece of plastic, if you commit to the brand, yeah. you know, there's no reason that you're actually going to be committing or adding anything else to landfill. So moving on, this is something that's a bit, a bit controversial to me, just because I really, really dislike wet wipes. Um, yeah. Just the, the concept, I, I really just can't abide by them. I think they're, they're just such a pollutant. But 
we went through a stage last year where our water kept on getting um we kept on having like power outages yeah. from water so water outages and the water company around here was doing a lot of work and the water kept on going off and at one stage we had no water for 36 hours which is just crazy and one of those occasions was during the summer and we needed something to stay fresh um so i went online and i ordered these i think i I think I ordered them from Amazon, I'm not sure, but um, they're called Eco by Natty. And um, when I ordered it, I think it came as like a bundle. So I think I got like three or four of these. And this is the last pack we've got left. But uh, what I really like about these is that they are natural. They are compostable, which is awesome. Um, So it's okay for home compost. Um, it's all eco certified and natural, hypoallergenic, vegan. Um, it's made in Sweden by a Swedish company, and it just says no nasty chemicals, uh, perfume free, and good for sensitive skin. And I can tell you, we have put these on our compost he- compost heap. They have biodegraded yeah. nicely. Um, they are really gentle. They really feel like you you clean. You feel fresh. They don't leave any of that sticky wet white feel to you to your skin. Um, and I just really I think that if you if you have to use a wet wipe, yeah. um, and in which case, in a lot of times you don't have to because you can use a flannel or you know something like that, which is what we um, always use. Yeah. But I've got this last pack left in the drawer just in case we did have another water outage. Yeah. And I just think if you really had to use wet wipes for kids or you know picnics or camping or anything yeah. like that, these they're compostable, they're natural, and they're great. great. So and they were a really good price as well. Wow. The price point was really competitive. I can't remember what it was, but at the time it was very competitive. Great. So there was really no reason not to use them. Then moving on to shampoo, um, this is La Vera, the one I mentioned earlier with, uh, for the uh, cream cleanser. So this is how I originally found this brand was I was ordering a shampoo and um, I came across La Vera and that's how I got introduced to the brand and I ordered the shampoo and I absolutely loved it. Mm. Um, they've got l- a huge range of shampoos. I think it was like seven or eight different types. There's oh. sensitive, perfume, non-perfumed, thick hair, volume. Oh, there was a whole bunch of different ones. Hydration, dry, all sorts of different things. It was something for everyone. I just think these are really, really gorgeous. They um, are lovely. It's a bummer that it's in plastic bottles, but in fairness, and this is a 93% recycled bottle. Um, and obviously, you know, you, you can, can you, can, recycle, you yeah. can recycle it afterwards. Um, and But it's really nice because it is natural. Um, I find that it doesn't have any buildup on my hair. In fact, it's been so nice on my hair. Like I um, wash my hair daily, which um, again, is not amazing for the environment, but I just really have to, because otherwise it just gets really mm. um, horrible. Um, and when I'm washing every day, for all for all of my life, because I've washed every day, it strips all your natural oils off and you need to then condition and you end up in this like vicious cycle of, you know, shampoo yeah. and conditioning and everything else. With the Libera, I have basically now not, I'm not using conditioner. When I, when I shampoo my hair, this is the first time ever this has happened where I shampoo my hair, get out, brush my hair, no knots, it's not getting stuck in there, the hairbrush, it's not, because it's not really, um, dehydrating and stripping your hair of the oils so it's got a really nice ingredients um, very gentle none of the, the ones I've ordered quite a lot of different ones and they they do have a scent that but nice. a natural again it's a natural scent and it um, it does it doesn't have a high perfume things so, you know your hair is not gonna smell of this the whole day that it's just not gonna do that but they've got some nice things. They've put a lot of like bamboo and quinoa and they've got, you know, all the different kind of like different things that they've put into their, their shampoos are for specific reasons. But I just really like um, their shampoo. And 99% natural and 10% from organic farms. So that's cool. Then for conditioner, as I said, I'm not using yeah. conditioner anymore and you don't use conditioner. Um, but for conditioner, um, we use Faith in Nature. I would actually say that before switching to Lavera, we were actually using yeah. Faith in Nature shampoo and there was nothing wrong with it. It's, they're good size bottles, 400 mils for these bottles. They're big yeah. sizes. 
and the price point is good. You're looking at like four or five pounds, um, which isn't too bad. And it's um, completely natural. Their ingredients list, uh, I'd say, might actually be nicer than La Vera in the fact that it's just really, really kind of limited and basic. The water is from the Lake District, plant derived, made in England. Um, so there is an, there's an awful lot that's good about faith in nature. Yeah. Um, 99% natural. As you can see, there's only a tiny bit left in this bottle. Um, I have no qualms about carrying on buying from Faith in Nature. And I'm still intermittently using the Faith in Nature shampoo. Uh, and it's very gentle. It's, you know, it's, I know it sounds funny, but it actually leaves your hair clean mm. without actually that kind of feeling like it's been over clean. Squeaky. Yeah. yeah. So, Doesn't you know, it, it's, it just feels good. And then, yeah, I just, I, I do like it too. They've got a big range. They've got um, shampoos, conditioners, um, body lotions that they've just re launched their body lotions. Um, their, their fragrances are quite limited. I think they've got things like, and this one's lavender and geranium. And I'm so lovely. Yeah, it does smell too good. Very, very nice. It's almost kind of, their fragrances have almost kind of got essential oil kind of smells to them. So very, very clean, natural fragrances, very gentle fragrances. You're using turmeric and turmeric and lemon or something. something like um, we've got lavender and geranium. They had a whole bunch of different ones. Um, but again, I ordered from Amazon and um, again, yeah. they have different um, kind of promos on at different times, um, but cruelty free. Um, natural ingredients, lovely. So, do you want to do the shower gel? Sure. So, you switched us up to the Goodness Range by Bayless and Harding. Yeah. Um, I've been using the sea kelp and peppermint. Uh, very nice scent, very nice flavor. Uh, quite unisex, really. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, as we mentioned with the shampoos, it's quite nourishing. Very. Uh, on, on the arms, and nice. especially when you've had a long day in the, in, in the sun, mm -hmm. and you're feeling a bit dry and you have a shower, it, it feels like it's nourishing. It doesn't, again, feel like it's over cleaning you or stripping stuff off that it, that it shouldn't be. No. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed these and uh, I think that these are actually quite well priced. I think you get them as bundles. Yeah, so you get um, three for 12 pounds. Wow, that is good. So that's, all, and this is a 500 ml bottle. So that's a big bottle and a lot of, a lot of body wash. Yeah. Uh, for four pounds, is it? Four pounds. And, and I've got to say, I mean, these things last for a long time. A long I mean, time. You, you're literally putting on the, the smallest of drops. It, yeah. it lathers up really well. Yeah, it does. Uh, you get like great coverage. Bubbles, so, yeah. you know, basically just maybe applying it twice. Uh, so, I mean, I tend to find I haven't really been keeping tabs, but I would say at least a month uh, to get through a, a bottle of shower gel for me. Uh, I think that, well, I'm, I'm refilling the, the shower and I put, I think I'm putting a new bottle in every six weeks oh, wow. and we're both using that's, that's it. That's even better. Yeah. yeah and brilliant. we're both using it every brilliant. day. Um, I really like the thing I would say is that their range is very limited. So in, in fragrances, so they've got lemongrass and ginger, which I really love this one. Yeah. Um, uh, it's kind that's of, nice. I like it too. it's kind of, it's got like, um, more of a masculine scent to it, which I still love and I'm still happy to mm -hmm. use. But it's kind of got that kind of um, musky kind of. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That kind of. Um, That's a really nice Sandalwood I mean, kind yeah. of. It's just really earthy lemon and ginger. Um, the peppermint I really love. Yeah. Very minty, but you can almost smell the kind of sea kelp. It's kind of like salty yeah. minty. It's really nice and refreshing. And then the, they've got a rose and geranium, I think. Um, so they literally have like three. I don't know if they've launched another one because I haven't been on their the website for a while. Mm. So maybe they've got like another, but three or four fragrances to choose from. So yeah. oh no, they do have a fourth. I think it's oud. Oh wow, oud okay. and something that, that'll be quite strong. Um, so I think literally four uh, four fragrances. Vegan, uh, naturally derived, ninety eight percent. Uh, dermatologist approved, a hundred percent recycled yeah. bottle. Um, so and nice. The, and the one thing I like is that it's 95% biodegradable formula, which means that once you've actually finished using it, using it and it ends up in the tank, you know, it is going to break down a lot easier than the other stuff, which is, you know, just so appealing to us. Even if it ends up in, in main sewage, if you know, if you're living yeah. in the city, it's just so much better for the environment. It contains natural oils made in the UK and made from mild plant-based cleansers. Yeah. And it really does. It's very, I, I say it's one of my favorite shower gels 
body washes um, because it is very natural and I, I gotta say I can use this every single day and my skin never dries out. And then staying with Vedas and Hiding Goodness range is the um, bath soak or bubble bath. Um, the reason why I'm putting this in, apart from that I love it and we use it, um, is that it's for me I found it really difficult to find a natural bubble bath that foams that gives you bubbles um that's not like an oil or you know for example bath salts and yeah. bath oils i want some bubbles <laughs> and it's not easy to find a natural bubble bath <laughs> and at a good price yeah. because very few that i have found that are still doing bubble baths that are natural and mm. clean beauty are very expensive mm. so um I highly recommend if you're looking for a bubble bath and you're looking, well, they call it bath soak, but you know, bubble bath or bath soak um, that gives you bubbles that is again hydrating for your skin. I would just say go for this goodness range again. Uh, I use the rose and geranium because typically I'll have a bath in the evening before yeah. I go to bed and it's a very, very nice. It is a very floral fragrance. Mm. And it is very rosy. It's very rosy. It's not really Mars's cup of tea. No. <laughs> but it again, very rosy. It, when you put it into a bath and it bubbles up, you know, it, you, you can kind of smell it around the thing, but it's not like a shower gel where you're actually physically applying it to yeah. yourself. So you don't have that intense smell. Yeah, and also they do, I've got this, but they, they do the same thing so that you can yeah. get the lemongrass and ginger, you get the yeah. sea kelp um, one in bubble bath as well. So if you wanted a more a unisex one, then you could go for that. Um, again, a really nice size, 500 mils. And again, I think it's, it was pretty much the same deal. Um, I hope it's wow. <laughs> the same deal. So three for 12. Um, so I think it's, I think it's a good price point for uh, a nice natural bubble bath. And they're not, as I said, very easy to find. So if you've got any questions about any of the products we've used today, uh, anything we haven't mentioned, then please leave a comment yeah. below and we will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And yeah, hope you found this video useful and interesting. Please subscribe and ring the bell. We really give appreciate Give us a thumbs up. Please give us a thumbs up. <laughs> we really appreciate all of our subscribers and um, really thank you so much for your precious time and watching us today. And yeah, we'll hope to see you on our next video. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.